So in a right triangle, one angle measures x degrees, and sine of x degrees is equal to 4 fifths. We want to know what's the value of cosine of 90 degrees minus x degrees. So there's an easy way to do this, and there's a slightly longer way using right triangles. We'll talk about them both. The easy way is to know the trig identity. So there's a trig identity that says that sine of x degrees is going to be equal to ta -da, cosine of 90 degrees minus x degrees. It turns out that these, are, these values are the same. Okay? So, well, we're given that sine of x degrees is equal to 4 fifths, and therefore cosine of 90 degrees minus x degrees is also going to be 4 fifths. So that's the answer. That's the easy way. Um, let's do it using you know, a right triangle. Okay, so we're talking about degrees. I'm going to leave off the degrees. So there's x, there's my right triangle. So remember sine of x. In terms of right triangles, sine is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So I know that the opposite side has a value of 4 and the hypotenuse has a value of 5. Okay, so, so far so good. Um, remember that cosine Cosine of an angle, I'm going to use the angle, I'm going to call it theta. Cosine of theta, um, that's the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. Okay, so let's maybe call this the angle theta. And it turns out the reason why I'm calling this theta, you know, what is the value of this missing angle, theta? Well, we know that if we take x plus theta plus 90, that has to equal 180 degrees. So if I solve for this missing angle, theta, well, I could subtract 90 from both sides. That would give me x plus theta equals 90, because 180 minus 90 will be 90. And again, if I solve for theta, hey, I'm left with 90 minus x. So the measure of this angle is 90 minus x. So if we want to figure out cosine of 90 degrees minus x degrees, Again, that's the same thing as cosine of theta, because that's how I labeled it. And again, cosine of theta, that's the relationship of the adjacent side, which is 4, to the hypotenuse, which is 5. So again, we get that same value, 4 over 5. So I could imagine a lot of people wouldn't know this identity, but knowing this right triangle um, relationship is certainly very useful and it would be one that I would you know want to be comfortable with when I went to take the ACT or excuse me the SAT the ACT2